Hey everyone, happy 2019. I'm sure this video is going to age really well. I wasn't going to make a 2019 resolutions video, but I put a bunch down when I got home from work. It was like 11, so I had like a half an hour. I didn't go anywhere for New Year's Eve. I put, you know, half an hour into doing some resolutions. And then someone at work made me realize that a lot of this stuff is not actually New Year's resolutions, but actually stuff for graduation. And since it's a new chapter in my life, I'm trying to make sure that I'm headed in the right direction. So this is like a New Year's resolution in starting life as a real adult after college goals and resolutions. But you can see it on my board back there. It's probably out of focus, but that's why I got it right in front of me. The first resolution, I have four big ones and I have like 10 short term ones. The first big one is no Fap. Um, sorry, mom and dad and anyone else that might feel a little uncomfortable about that one. But this resolution is more about discipline and motivation. The evolutionary purpose of life is to live long enough to reproduce. And any reasonable person would figure out that having sex and orgasming is one of the most satisfying things our brain gives us. Our brains, our big, smart monkey brains, uh, reward us a ton for getting that. And once again, our big, smart monkey brains figured out that we can give ourselves that reward without having to work for it. And well, that's why I'm trying to cut it out. Cold turkey, none of it. Um, and the goal for this is one, discipline, uh, just disciplining myself to actually go through with it. And two, uh, take away that instant reward. Like I said, it's one of the best reward system that your brain will give you is, is you know, having sex and, and doing that. So cutting that out will reprogram my brain, hopefully, to want to reward itself and work harder to reward itself and do stuff that is more challenging but more beneficial in the future. Um, the second Big goal of 2019 is invest $2,000. Uh, last year, my goal was $1,000, and I got up to about twelve, thirteen hundred. dollars And so this one's really easy. It makes sense um, just expanding on what I did last year. The third of which is get torn. And, well, get ripped. This is a classic resolution or -er goal. But really, I started this health thing in August. Um, I've been working towards it. I created some building blocks for a healthy diet and lifestyle. And I kind of got derailed with um, the whole relationship mess in the last few months. And I ate a crap ton of Chinese food. I, I don't know why Chinese food was like my rock, but I ate a crap ton of Chinese food. So getting back on track with that. The fourth goal for 2019 is to get 1000 subscribers on this YouTube channel. And you're probably like, Kyle, you only have 38 right now. And I'm well aware of that. Um, I started this back in August. I really haven't been doing a whole lot on this channel um, for a long time. And I think in a whole year, gaining a thousand subscribers is a very achievable goal. And especially considering that a lot of the growth will be exponential. Um, so I think that's very obtainable. Uh, and the next goals, I have 10 uh, short-term goals that have due dates. So those four ones are reasonably obtainable over a year. Um, some of them are vague. Some of them are very strict and something I have to work towards every day. Um, so those are more easily attainable than what goals people usually make. But these ones, I made a specific due date and something specific I have to do. So for the first of which, I'm going to have to look at this because I don't remember all of them. Okay, so... The first one is two months of travel by March. This one's easy. I mean, I'm already planning on taking my trip in February and March. It's going to be super easy. It's just going to achieve itself. Create workout habit by June. Um, it takes a long time for someone to create a habit. And I think in six months, that's pretty reasonable to have myself have a workout habit. Even if it's just three days a week or like get up in the morning, 
just any kind of workout habit, something that is consistent uh, by June. Number three is get rid of 50% of my stuff by February. This sounds a little vague, but this literally means 50% of my stuff. Um, When I actually get into the career field that I want and the career path that I want, I'm not going to have the luxury of being able to take truckloads and move it across the country and move it all around. So it's a good time. I'm going to sell a bunch. I'm selling my desktop. I'm selling my laptop. I'm just getting rid of a ton of different stuff only down to the bare minimum of what I need as a person. And that's by February. So by the time I move out here and go somewhere else, I'm going to be cut down, slimmed down, lean. Number four is become Uber driver. And this one is like, basically I already did it. Um, it's been like five days in January. Um, I just got my vehicle inspected and, and approved. So I'm just waiting on those documents and I'm going to start Uber driving in the next few days. Number five is make $3,000 in January. So January, <laughs> here's, here's the thing about January. I'm going to work my ass off in January. I mean, I'm working as much as I can at the theater. I became an Uber driver. I want to make $3,000 by January so I can travel safely and um, responsibly in February and March without putting myself in too big of a hole. So I'm going to work my butt off. Um, that'll come into play in later in the video. I'm going to talk about um, what this month means and the future of this channel. Number six is create a morning routine by the 15th of January. So I only have like 10 days to really nail this down. This one's obvious. Um, you know, I just need to create a morning routine. I need to get up at the same time, get going, be productive. Those are the best hours to do stuff. And um, well, it's just going to play into January. I need to be working my ass off literally all day, every day, not just on uh, making money, but also the documentary and this channel and stuff. So morning routine by mid January. Number seven is um, more like a soul thing. And it's read four books by March. And I probably won't have any time in January to read books. But when I'm traveling, I would hope that I have some time to just sit down and read a book. And that's one of my goals. Number eight is finish the French Duolingo course by May. So I have gone and on and off with um, learning French. I had some in high school um, through the community college, and I did Duolingo for a while, a few years back, but I kind of fell off of it. I just want to get it back up and finish that French course. Number nine is receive my FAA remote pilot certification by January 20th. So, I mean, the laws have changed, um, I think. I, I don't know when they come into effect, but the previous laws, you had to have a certain certificate and license in order to fly drones commercially. So in order to make money off of your drone stuff. Um, So before I was just flying for fun and just for myself. And now I'm starting to get to a point where I can make money from it. So I need to make sure I get my federal certificate to fly that drone by January 20th. And the last one, it's a little bit further down in the year. These are all kind of all over the place. I just kind of put them down as I thought of them. But this one is a healthy and sustainable diet by August. And this is, you know, eight months away. But I think this is an important goal, Um, making sure that I am eating right. I'm creating a lifestyle for myself that will set me up really nice for this next chapter in my life. Make sure that I'm not having any vices. I'm not having to worry about getting fat or being unhealthy. Um, Just create a habit and a sustainable diet. So those are my 2019 slash graduation resolution and goals. Um, I know this video is like late. Like I said, I don't think I was going to do something like this, Um, but I really wanted to also update about this channel and what I'm doing this month. Um, I know it's been a little while and I haven't had like a solid piece of content in a sec and I care about you guys. I care about all of you. I have not forgotten about you. I promise. The holidays are always a crazy time. I already have uh, two videos recorded um, and more to come. I'm going to record another one by the end of next week. Basically, I have like four to five videos for January. And once I start traveling in February and March, I'm going to record the whole thing. Um, basically, this channel in February and March are, are going to be dedicated to my travel. So you won't be starving for content there because like literally I'm going to probably have like I'm hoping to have two to three videos um, per week during that period. So this month I have a few videos. I have the Naples trip that I went on with my family um, to Florida. I know that one's going to be like a little bit late. That happened uh, after Christmas. So probably like 
in, in a few days. Um, I have a reaction video to a letter to myself that I recorded back when I was a high school senior. Um, that was really long. I'm going to, I think I'm going to chop that up into three different videos, like three 15 minute videos. Um, that one's really long, but it's, I, I like it. It's very important and it means a lot to me. So I want you all to see that, but I'm not going to subject you guys to a one 45 minute video. Um, and then the third video that I'm going to have in January is my whole relationship gush thing mess. Um, I'm probably just going to honestly end up ranting and that will be probably end up being like a 45 minute video and a bonus extra video. If I really nail it is a, um, car buying my first car buying experience. Um, other than that on YouTube, that's what January is going to look like. Uh, th I thank you all for sticking around and supporting me as always. It's great. And, uh, it's just a tough time. Uh, you know, new chapter in my life and I'm not exaggerating. I, I really am trying to work really hard to set myself up. Um, and I, on top of all of that, I still have the documentary and the post-production that I'm doing this January. And I want to finish about 60% of it before I leave for travels and finish it while I'm on the road. So <laughs> between work, uh, being an Uber driver, making the $3,000 that I'm setting out to make and editing the documentary, uh, I, I hopefully I paint a pretty clear picture of what this January is going to look like. So thank you all for sticking around. Um, I appreciate you watching this nice little video. Um, if you have any suggestions of what I can do or what I can do to make better content for you, especially when I'm busy, um, leave that in the comment section down below as usual. And I want to hear if you guys have any resolutions or goals or whatever you're doing, um, leave that in the comment section down below so we can all learn together and continue growing together. Let's make 2019 great. I'll see you guys later. <laughs>